like someone just tackled me. The San Diego teenager who survived his brush with a great white shark is giving his classmates a detailed account of that attack. 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky has more from that exclusive interview, including the moment Keen Hayes says he knew he was in trouble. His walk back into the classroom almost like a walk of fame. 13-year-old Keen Hayes sitting down in front of classmates to describe the moment he was attacked by a great white shark. I felt like someone just tackled me and, and I kind of knew my shoulder or arm was broken. Hayes was lobster diving with a friend when it happened. At first I thought it was like Noah, like my buddy, just trying to mess with me. Hayes says when he saw his buddy snorkel still in the water, he knew it was something else. And then I started seeing blood, so I started going over to a kayak. When I was in the water, I, I was like, it's probably, it's probably a big fish, and my mind instantly went to shark. We have a shark attack. Hayes was airlifted to the hospital, where he would spend the next five hours in surgery. Today, he's on the road to recovery, but his doctors say it'll take months. we got to really start with baby steps and build our way up. But it wasn't the hospital Hayes' classmates were interested in. It was the famous visitors who showed up there to see him. Skateboarding legend Tony Hawk and shark attack survivor Bethany Hamilton. She showed me how she plays pool, so she holds the stick and then hits it with her hip. And as for what he was thinking, laying in a hospital bed with around a thousand stitches and quite the story to tell, Hayes always with his mind <laughs> on the important stuff. Then the first thing that my that I said when my mom came up was, can you take pictures for Instagram? <laughs> Brian Schlonsky, 10 News.